I'm making a fighting game called Digital Venom, and I'm documenting the process here on YouTube. In this episode, I'm gonna briefly explain hitboxes, hurt boxes, and how each of them work. I'll then go on to explain how I was able to generate them automatically for my game. So firstly, what is a hitbox? In a video game, whenever a character performs an attack, there's a point in time when the attack needs to hit something. This is called the active period of the attack. But the game needs to know whether or not the attack should hit the opponent. And since calculating super specific interactions can take a while, game developers needed a way to simplify the attacks in a way that made them easier to compute. This is where hitboxes come in. A hitbox is an invisible box around your attack that represents where it can hit. Your opponent has a hurtbox which represents their vulnerable body. If your hitbox and their hurtbox overlap, then boom, your attack hits them. So how do we make these? Well, it all starts here. This is a sprite. Basically, it's a single image of the character used to create an animation. But we're also going to use it to make our hitboxes. But first, we don't actually need the full sprite. What we really need is just the outline of the sprite. You see, the game doesn't really care about the exact color of her skirt. It really just needs to know where her foot is kicking. So to tell the game where that is, we separate the outline into a red part and a green part. The red part is a part that's actually attacking. This is the part that does all of the damage. In this case, it's her foot. The green part is the part of the body where she's most vulnerable to being hit. We then make boxes around these sections. Around the red parts, we'll make a hitbox, so the game knows where the attack will hit. And around the green part, we'll make a hurtbox. Now, we can get rid of the colored outline we just made, and since we started with our original sprite, the boxes will fit perfectly back onto it. So this is what our final hitboxes look like on the original sprite. As you can see, the hitbox lines up nicely with her foot, and the hurtbox lines up nicely with the rest of her body. And so, when we put this back into the game, everything works well, and our attacks can finally begin to pack a punch. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Owen CMYK, and I'll see you again tomorrow night.